All right, so this is map four, Lumen Valama by Newhouse. And my FOV setting, every time I reopen the game, it changed. One thing right off the bat about this map is how it huh. drops you from the previous, and you're then in this bridge that you can see from up there. And it's really cool. It's just like on the previous map. You get a little glimpse of what's to come. And this one's got a measly 31 secret. Hopefully I can find some. Tells me I can open this this door right now. Something. Hmm. Well, maybe not. You know it's a new house map the moment you get into this area. That was a rough start. That was a rough start. I think we could do better than that. First time I played this map, that really got me. I wonder if there's a way to get in there.
the sooner you can deal with those, uh, the sooner you can deal with those spawns, the better. These doors with their slots is pretty creative, too. That was basically just like the intro to this map. Given that it's got 413 monsters, again 31 secrets, now it really comes into its own. Some of the snow is like certain areas you can get like deep into the snow like this. It's a, I'm not finding the words to explain it, but it's cool how it's like non-solid. I feel like I handled that encounter pretty badly. The show will go on. Love these trees. The nice texture. This whole outdoor area is really fascinating to look at. Like it's so vast and uh, nicely detailed. Really love New House's rock work. That's cool, having the zombies emerge from the snow like that. That's a nice touch. the maps in this pack, I feel that... Oh. Hold that thought. Oh, 
was I saying? So, out of all the maps in this pack, I feel like the audio track, the music track for, for this one, is the most uh, in line with what's actually going on. Like, with the pace. Yeah, to elaborate further, like I feel like a lot of the, a lot of these tracks by Amorpha are very moody, and um, a lot of the maps up until now have been very fast-paced, very aggressive, very hostile towards the player. So. Not that this one is that much less hostile. I feel like overall the whole pack is very uh, anti-player. <laughs> um, but at the, the pace at which the action plays out in this map is a lot slower and more tense than the previous maps that are a lot more in your face and more action packed. Here it's kind of like a slow drip. Locked down, I love the detail of the uh, snow melted around the campfire. Really, a lot of nice touches throughout. So this is a dead end, I reckon. Hmm. I gotta do a better job of finding some of these secrets. I don't want to disappoint my friend Newhouse. Secrets to be found back this way. Let me not forget. It's odd though, because find like, I'm finding dead ends and it doesn't seem to clue me into what I should be doing in that particular area. Insta dive to spawn. Ah. Relief. Oh. I'll be 
bizarre. Like that painting is crying bloody tears. Things, I guess, throughout the map, shoot them. That was a nice touch how the texture changes from the ogre, ogre face to a uh, handsome fellow. Let me not forget that I have silver key. challenging to fight ogres in this hallway because you don't have a clean way of getting back down and the grenades they shoot at you are definitely gonna get tripped up on this little s-curve definitely want to take a note of that I thought this was so cool Since there's ammo up there, I'm gonna not drink it all right now. I'll come back. Mm. Well, I know that if I come back here, there is ammo and health weight. from up here is really cool too. That's the area that we're going to move towards next. And you just get this scene of the castle in the far distance. Yeah, I really love uh, the visuals of this map and like the overall mood. Very intense feeling. Huh. Huh. 
do much for me. It was fun. Mm. Anytime I see a little hole like that, I think. I could probably fit a grenade in there. Newhouse did a really great job of interconnecting everything with his shortcut elevators. Totally got me the first time. Yeah, but the sheer scope of, of this map is just impressive. And I feel like the pacing is just perfect. A map of this size, I think, benefits greatly from a slower pace. Like that, you don't exhaust the player with um, constantly throwing enemies at him. Not to mention, there's so much stuff to see, like, Newhouse also uh, managed to cram so much unique, uh, you get so many unique set pieces. And rarely do you see the same thing twice in a map like this.
Okay, so this is the way I should go. Oh, I can't go back now. There's a quad up there for me. Well, okay, this is where I can go. So then, where should I go? the understairs. <laughs> Well put together. <laughs> Interesting, this platform comes up to block your exit. I have no choice but to fight. Cool room.
Oh, yeah. That's a good secret. Mm. I enjoy how it's like, you manage to jump to an unlikely place, and then you get a hint of what your next move should be. Speaking of next move... <laughs> Very good at grenade jumping. Hey, it's pressed already. That's weird. Definitely pressed down. But I can't make sense of why else there'd be a pentagram there if not for that. else really cool about this map. The outdoor areas are very serene looking while still being hostile and cold. And then the interiors are warm and inviting yet creepy and you know morbid. New house uh, has a really nice um, blending of these two styles or of the Two styles, both in and out, you know? Oh. I don't think I was meant for that. has a lot of these big, dark, empty rooms that don't have anything. That kind of sucks. Then again, maybe there is something and I'm just not, not able to figure it out. That's the thing, I don't know what I don't know. You know? Alas, I will continue to try my best. Huh. Definitely need to get back up there, because there's a secret. Huh. Certainly a secret. Huh. 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 seems like armor doesn't degrade in this frog set, whereas in copper, the one it's based off, it does. An interesting observation. I guess they like the, uh, they don't like the copper armor degrade feature.
Oh, so is this a shortcut? Was I already here? This is a nice tree. I wonder if it's brushwork. Or a model. I think it's brushwork. That's pretty damn cool. I don't think I could do that with... Okay, so this area is definitely new. Totally got brutalized. little spot to be doing your fighting on. Observation. I managed to find both a silver and gold key, but I can't recall ever seeing a silver or gold door. But what's the deal with that? Oh, 
that's cool. Little DSP mug. jump I had failed previously. So New House is pretty nice in giving you multiple ways of getting some of these secrets. One thing I've learned is you really gotta take your time with these maps, otherwise you, um, you miss out so much. I've managed to find 10 secrets so far. We're just a little over halfway through. Hopefully by the end of it I'll have found even more. that mega health. to the graveyard. I guess that's important. I like this broken glass effect going on. There's a lot of goodies under here. figure out something.
Alright. I'm doing his uh, nested secrets. Two graveyard opens. Okay, you well, know that's the one that was below us here. I'll tell you what, I'm failing a lot of platforming. I'm gonna try that again. Oh. It's a little challenging because it's in the dark. Yeah, okay, so I just have to make a clean jump forward. to the ones lost along the way. This map is very screenshot capable. You know, there's some maps that maybe they're fun, but they just don't look good in screenshots. Seems like you could pick just anywhere and get an interesting shot of this map. pretty tight. You know, the trick about fighting spawns is you have to remain calm while you're doing it. Otherwise you will be subject to its wrath. Great. I'm a big fan of New House.
Oh, here comes the drowning segment, I'm sure. Crevices like this just call for like such an exploration heavy map um I kind of advise you to just poke around at every corner
Hey, another gold key. Honestly, that totally kills the momentum. But it's like, oh, okay, I've made it all the way over here. I'm basically at the end of the map. But now I'm gonna have to backtrack, figure out what little detail I missed. It could be anywhere, man. Really nice waterfalls. But yeah, it's like... Alright, I know I still have a silver key. So the silver key, I think, is for optional areas. But I have no clue where I may have missed the gold. So now what was a very inviting explore exploration map, now it's like a you must explore. You must explore everything now. Oh, what was that? A secret world awaits. Right. I just need another silver key for me. I think the main reason this is a problem is that the player isn't really given any uh, any forewarning that they are required to find three keys before exiting. Hey, there's that silver key I need. Maybe the secret exit is what we're going to be taking. This one? Oh yeah. Alright. Secret exit. There's still so much to find. I'll be coming at you guys next time with uh, a la carta.
Um, but as far as Newhouse's map, I mean, I thought it was uh, brilliantly executed, except for that gold key exit. I feel like that was, uh, I guess, poorly illustrated to the player. You know, if you had started the map and said, you're going to have to find these three keys to escape, or whatever, then um, at least you, you know, you have a cognizant. Like, as a player, you'd have a, in the back of your mind, you'd be thinking, okay, well, I have two of them. Where's the third one? You know? So then that quadrant at the end isn't, just doesn't end in a total buzzkill when you're blocked from the exit. You know? In a way that uh, encourages the player to find the secret exit, which is good, because um, you want people to play the secret. You know? I think about that every time someone plays Dwell and they don't find my map. Uh, so it's cool that, in a way, it encourages the player to f maybe find the secret map, but at the same time, it's like now you are. Um, of course, I could be saying all this, and it could have just been right there, and I missed it. So, if that's the case, then forgive me. But, uh, if it's not along the route that you would take... I mean, I guess the whole problem would have been avoided if, uh, you didn't have the key before the door. You know? Which is like, uh, you know, a basic... Like, that's a basic trait. You want to have the door before the key... You know, that's like fundamental, a fundamental design principle, if uh, I could say so. But overall, I mean, you know, it's a tremendous effort by Newhouse, and a very beautiful map. Very nicely paced, and um, great atmosphere. These are all, uh, these are all traits that I think Newhouse is uh, always... Like, he's very consistent in having these things in his maps. He always has a tense atmosphere, he always has uh, interesting visuals, and uh, it's always very nicely paced. So, good job. And uh, this video will end here, and I'll play the next map when I get to it. Cheers.